again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, an Expressionist Fluid Art Studio gallery with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas that I have primed black with some mead and black paint. And now I'm going to put some more mead and black paint on. Right down the middle because I'm going to do a swipe. And I may put some more on. Right now. Which will be plenty, plenty, plenty of paint. But it's not keeping me from wanting to spread it out. Do I need to do that? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to spread it out a little bit right now. I'm going to put some Chantilly lace in. I'm a Color Art affiliate, so these are prism, these are prism pour and primary elements and fluorescence. Visit vivid, intense and vivid, intense fluorescence. And this is some poinsettia. I'm going to make sure we shake everything. I like to leave some color behind when I swipe. So the prettier the stripes are I put down before I swipe, the better off I am, or the better off I feel I am. This is Frosted Berry. It's sort of like putting a pan of colors together but on a canvas. This is some Orange Crush, which seems kind of odd with the Frosted Berry to me, but I I trust my my end result will be different. This is Honeysuckle. This is a beautiful orange, similar to the Saffron, but not the same. It would be helpful if I opened it all the way up and didn't have any paint chips right there. Hmm. I might put some more of that on, or I might add some Saffron. In the meantime, I've got Plum Blossom, which is a primary element. Why am I not opening my bottles well enough today? It's kind of... Okay, well if it won't come out, that means there's a plug. And in this case, there's definitely a plug. So you can always pull that plug out. You might need a pair of tweezers too. Should probably put that aside so I can work on it some more. I want these colors to be a little different than usual and so far they look pretty much different than usual. This is Snapdragon. This is a primary element. Oh, I've got a color I need to use. Maybe even before that. This is a vivid intense purple and then I added a little bit of red violet. Oops, and that's a big dollop. That's <laughs> that's something, that's a word that came to mind that wasn't polite. <laughs> so I'll just give it a miss. And there's Floetrol in that. That's a different mixture. I just, um, I found some gloppy paint, so I added some Floetrol, American Floetrol, to make it work out. This is Frostbite with some um, ultramarine blue, a few drops and one drop of red-violet. Put some of these out of my way. Now it's time for the Snapdragon primary element. I love, 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 love Snapdragon. Which is too bad because I think I'm almost out from the feels of it. And then I've got Mystique, which is another favorite. I have a lot of favorites. There is um, there's almost always a sale going on. There's a 20 to 30 percent sliding scale coupon code below the video, depending on what you spend. And I I believe that there was last time I checked there was a 40 percent off coupon, 40 percent off sale on Prison Pours. That's that Mystique. I never put any of my jasmine in and I still want some. I hope this looks... <laughs> I 
half as good as I'm hoping for. This is my jasmine. Now I made up some gold and I don't know how it's going to work because it didn't sell for me. It was cell activator. But um, if I use it with the black cell activator, which is Australian Floatrol and Amsterdam black, I have some tempting tulip that's just hanging out here waiting to be used, so I'm going to use it. It's just another variation on the pinks, which is okay with me. And then I think everything is mostly out of the way. I don't like spilling paint, as you might imagine. So let me grab card that I had and the gold that I have which I put in a prison pour bottle I'm going to use some of that and I'm going to try it with this gold because I can and I'm going to need to swing some things around and I wonder if that bottle of white is in my way no I guess I'm okay That worked out pretty well. That's pretty. I'm thinking I might want some white with my black. And I might want a playing card, a wider card. I might want to just go for a much wider card right, right now. So I can hold more cell activator also. And some white. some gold again because it's hard telling how something's going to work until you try it a few times I guess I want to take the beautiful paint color off my card Apply it to my canvas because I can. <laughs> That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. That's why I laugh. I just knocked it. All right, so I think back to the smaller card. Actually, I'm just going to rotate cards all over the place. I like this, and if I go like that, yep. Yeah. First, some black. I'm just going to stay with the same procedure because I'm getting some incredibly beautiful cells. Like really, really beautiful. I'm just dribbling some of that gold on there. And I will include the recipe. This is a funky card. I used it on the wrong side. It has a curve. going to move some of the colors down into the painting. I think I want to just keep doing what I've been doing, which is using up what I've got wherever it'll, wherever it lands. I might even add some color afterwards, you can never tell. I'm going to wipe off my card and make sure I use the right side this time. I'm going to use a bunch of that gold and see if it works. I'm going to skip the white ones. I'm not sure about the top on this. Alright, I've still got beautiful colors to use. Up. I'm going to put them right in there. Because I can't think of a single reason why I shouldn't use my residuals any way I want. Unless they're too black. 
which case that's a good enough reason not to. Okay, so I really want to do one completely gold, but I'm really nervous that it won't work. And I don't know why I should be, but I'm going to do it anyway. And if it won't work, it won't work. But I see some cells coming up, so I'm a good cheer. I'm taking my residual colors, whoop, putting them along the bottom where as the paint tapers out, it sort of becomes black on black. So that, that's helping me. I do see some cells. I'm going to try this end piece with white and gold. The white stands out nicely. I like that. Same thing. Take the paint right off my card. Now I've got a little something in here. I need something in there. And I think for that, it would be a good idea for me to use one of my smaller acetate tools, much smaller than that. Let's go for something like that. And since I like the white so much, I'm gonna use the white, but the gold is gonna be dominating. My little tools. I'll leave the um, instruction tutorial video underneath. <coughs> I like them because you can curve your mark, your lines. I always wanted to drag some tendrils. some dimension. Yeah, I like that a lot. Sorry, I'm quiet. Oh, I've got a little more paint on my spatula I can use right there. Very cool. I'm thinking of coming down through here. Let's try. That was a little risky not wiping off my acetate tool. wanted something I want some more paint I guess I'm just gonna steal some that's not worrying me 
I'll make my tendrils before the paint sets up. I better swipe too. I think my, my little uh, Princeton Arto Catalyst Spatulas would work for what I'm doing right now, too. Maybe even better. I like the contrast between the... I also like to drag lines. And the odd spiral. Well, I've got three minutes, and I think I can finish. I've been sort of taking my time. I want to do another big... How did that last one go? I like the white. I think the white is coming up. Next. I have a bunch more of this gold. Just had to try it, my spatula, to see how it worked. And it worked pretty well. Where's my little tool? That's not it. There it is. I got it. to let myself make some short marks because that's something I don't do much of and I think it would be a good alternative. I want to bring some color up through there. Okay, so far so good. We're almost, we're in the home stretch. And so that's me trying to decide right now and wipe off my card. We'll just wipe that off on the correct rag. Back to the black alone. A bunch of the white. Excuse me, a bunch of the gold. liked using the spatula. Wow, got some awesome cells there. But I'm kind of enjoying experimenting with my little tool too. I got one minute left. That's not really enough. So I will see you guys in on and I'm going to try really fast to finish this. Undersea monster or whatever it is. If I'm really fast, I can probably shimmer if nothing else. And I'll try and get up there and zoom in. Please give me a thumbs up. Your comments.